Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna skin a gar, clean it. It's not really skin, it's like a, a armor. We're gonna clean this gar, get some meat out of it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. What you need for this process is a good stout knife and a pair of snips. That's the way I do it. Now I know there's some people out there that chop it off with a with a hatchet or something, but I do it this way, just the way I enjoy doing it. I'm not trying to change anybody from doing it the way they like to do it. What you'll see is this thing has got one mighty hide on it. You will dull out a knife. You can't take a knife and cut down through there at all. But what you can do is get under those scales and angle up. And I don't like to use a tender fillet knife for this job. I like to use a good heavy skinning knife. And once you get that done, and you'll hear every once in a while you hear a crunch. Now what you're gonna do is just take your snips and go right in where you opened it up. And just gonna go right down the back. The, the snips slide along under there better than you might think. You have to force it sometimes to go like that, but it's not that bad really. Go around this top fin. Here's where it gets a little tight and you have to work it a little bit. Just work it and cut, work it. Now you're gonna turn down and just terminate it. That's all. Now you're gonna take a real fillet knife now that's got some, some flex to it and you're gonna go in and just run along that hard shell you're not gonna dull your knife out on the inside part. And you're just going to loosen it from the hide. And you're gonna do that all the way down. Now when you get down to the bottom, you'll feel the ribs. Just you don't want ribs in your meat. Now at this point, it pretty much just lays over on its own. This particular one has eggs I can see in there. They say that the eggs of a gar are toxic, so never eat the eggs. That's just a point of interest that you might want to know. Okay, so you're going to fillet the meat off of the bone just like you would a catfish or anything else. So there you see what a boneless piece of meat you can get out of a gar. It's quite amazing and people throw them away and say they're no good, but I can tell you right now we love to dice them up and make tacos it is some of the best taco you could ever eat for this reason. Chicken also makes great taco. Well, these gar, when you cook them up, the texture will remind you of chicken. The flavor is like chicken, but it's actually got a little bit of a seafood flavor as well. It's very good. Nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna put this in this pot of cold water here. We did a lot of catfishing, and we always catch gar by default. We don't. We don't try to catch gar. We're trying to catch catfish. Gar always get in the way and aggravate us. But that's how you do it. Just repeat that with the other side and you'll be finished and ready to have you some good old gar tacos or fry it up, eat it however you like. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you enjoyed this. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.